Pluto's new high definition images have arrived which have opened up something that NASA fans are completely shocked by. Take a look at this image. These are the structures that crabs make on the beach to lay their eggs so that their children can run away from the eggs in search of food in the water as soon as they come out. Now, keeping that in mind, let's take a look at these structures which NASA's new Horizon Space Probe itself has captured on Pluto's ice cold surface. You can see here that these same to same crab holes are mixed together. And you know what is the weird part? According to NASA, the region in which these structures have been seen, exactly at that place, Pluto's almost all liquid water is hidden under the ice. So, does Pluto's cold water also contain some strong ice cold creatures like crabs? Well, NASA has taken many high definition photos of Pluto under its New Horizon mission, which point to something similar. Like, take a look at these images. This is a picture of Pluto's environment, which according to NASA, is being filled with poisonous gases without any volcanic eruption, which is kind of similar to Earth as well. Here too, in two centuries, human activities have quickly filled the environment with poisonous gases. So all in all, Pluto from a distance is still in its most distant form. And the more quiet we see it, the more it is not that much quiet. In fact, when I was looking at all these images, I found a weird image and it was this. This hidden object is an Arab court, an asteroid shaped like a snowman, which was hidden behind Pluto. Although according to NASA, this is no ordinary asteroid. In fact, this could be a kind of time capsule because asteroids usually don't have these shapes. So, what happens to Pluto? How many more secrets does Pluto have inside him? Well, the only way to find out is if we record all his mysterious images one by one and try to reach the root of the truth. You are watching Luminary Cosmos. Watch this video till the end and do not forget to subscribe. Pluto has always been a curious subject for NASA. Because before 2006, the clearest pic of Pluto looked something like this. Meaning we literally knew more about Jupiter and Saturn's moon than Pluto. And that's why in 2006, NASA specially launched a space probe to study Pluto called the New Horizon. The mission of this probe was to send Pluto's high definition images to NASA as soon as possible. And through them, to tell the entire story of Pluto's origin and its environment to the people of the Earth. And now, after a long journey, this moment has finally come. The New Horizons have eventually discovered Pluto. NASA sent Pluto's first clear image to NASA, and as soon as the image was found, it was clear. NASA observed that Pluto's surface had a large, heart-shaped, smooth, platy region called Sputnik Planum, which was just recently made compared to Pluto's other surface. And that is why NASA believes that Pluto is the most beautiful planet in the world and that Pluto is the most beautiful planet on Earth. Because as soon as the New Horizons zoomed a little bit more on Pluto's heart and take a picture of it, they saw that this far off, smooth and plain looking region is actually filled with these icy polygonal structures. The structures that are actually made from that simple process that we can replicate in our home's fridge as well. Just to give you an idea, if you fill your ice tray with water and leave it in your freezer for a year, then you will notice that after a year, the ice that is kept in it will suddenly disappear. Now, this happens because for a long time, the ice that is kept in the fridge without water evaporates into a liquid, which is scientifically called the sublimation process. And this is the process that is making massive polygons and weird structures like crab holes in Pluto's heart-shaped structures. Now, another example of this sublimation process is dry ice. So, as soon as you take dry ice out, it doesn't convert into liquid. It just becomes gas. And then it evaporates. This is called sublimation. Now, according to a study, a huge meteorite collided with the Earth 66 million years ago. Similarly, a huge object collided with Pluto 10 million years ago. But since Pluto is located 100 miles away from the Sun and is made up of 
majority nitrogen ice, unlike the Earth, where water is filled in the impact crater. The impact crater of Pluto is gradually filled with nitrogen ice, and that same nitrogen ice when the sublimation process was used to make steam from the ice. That steam carved its lower surface into strange shapes like crab holes and polygons. Well, if this theory is accurate, then yes, Pluto's weird heart-shaped Sputnik planum, its weird structures, and Pluto's thick atmosphere, all of these things are responsible for natural things, and they are the source of nitrogen ice. So, in this case, we might have to say goodbye to aliens who look like crabs and behave like them. So, in this case, Pluto is really a barren as the rest of our solar system's planet, except some things they still don't make sense. Like, the ice made from nitrogen is white. Yet, on the basis of this image, NASA says that Pluto's moon Charon was originally not red. It was made white by Pluto, and Pluto has coated it with a reddish compound. According to NASA, when the New Horizons probe reached a little closer to Pluto, it saw the darkest spot of Pluto's plain brighter spot, Spotnik Planum. Spotnik Planum, right next to it, its darkest spot, Tohu Macula. When they studied the chemistry of this spot in detail, they also saw a huge amount of hydrocarbons like methane and ethane in this dark spot, apart from nitrogen ice. So, according to NASA, when Pluto due to its weird orbit, starts orbiting Neptune's orbit for some time, the heat of the sun turns these hydrocarbons into tholins, a reddish compound. And because of Pluto's weak gravity, this red tholin first mixes with its own atmosphere, pollutes it and makes it poisonous. And then, it gets deposited on Charon, which is next to it. Meaning, all of this is indicating that whatever is happening on Pluto is all natural causes. But let's hold on a second for a year. And this is a very strange fact. Have you ever heard that on Earth or on any other planet, gravity is uneven? Well, when a lead researcher at the University of California, Santa Cruz, Professor Francis Nemo, studied the images from NASA's New Horizons, he saw some cracks and falls on Pluto's surface that indicated that gravity is uneven in Pluto's Sputnik Planum region. And yes, not magnetic field, not atmosphere, but gravity is uneven. So according to Professor Francis Nemo, Pluto's icy heart, the Sputnik Planum, is located at such a special place where if there is a difference of 19 to 20 in the mass, then already tilted Pluto can tilt even more. Because it is such a special place where if we draw an imaginary line on the opposite side, then that line will go directly to Pluto's moon Charon. Such an imaginary line is called the tidal axis, in which with a slight change, the rotation of the entire planet changes. And this has been verified by Professor Francis Nemo through computer simulations. His analysis says that Pluto, which is currently rotating in a sleeping position, was originally more or less standing straight and rotating like the Earth and other planets. But then, when things started to fill up in the impact crater of the Sputnik Planum, due to the unevenness of the mass there, the entire Pluto was tilted in the direction of the Sputnik Planum, up to 120 degrees. Now, many previous theories says that there are heavy things in Sputnik Planum and nothing but nitrogen ice. But Professor Nemo says that nitrogen ice alone is not so heavy that it can tilt the entire Pluto. This can only be possible if there is a liquid ocean under the surface of Sputnik Planum made of nitrogen ice. And this was the reason why I said in the beginning that Pluto is almost like our Earth. In fact, our recent simulation even said that the deepest point of its ocean should be 10 times deeper than our Mariana Trench to make up for that amount of mass. Now, how accurate is this? This will only be known when NASA will study the Arrowcode asteroid hidden behind Pluto in detail, which will work like a time capsule according to them and will tell us the whole story of the formation of Pluto and our solar system. Actually, studying Arrowcode will be the only mission in the entire space industry, which was decided after the launch of space probe 
Before the launch, NASA did not know what exactly it was. After the launch of the new horizons, which other objects can be studied other than Pluto? To find out, when NASA observing other objects from the Hubble Space Telescope, they saw a long, feared object near Pluto and they decided to study it too. But it wasn't that easy to reach Arrowcourt. When the New Horizons completed its study of Pluto in 2015-16, to 16, they literally managed to reach Arrowcourt only after 3 years. And then they started taking out images of it. Now, if you look at it carefully, you'll notice that it's quite different from a normal asteroid. It looks like it's two modules of an alien spaceship. Some of its key highlights are that it is red in appearance, its surface is smooth and plain, and above all, it actually didn't collide with any asteroid, but rather fused. What does this mean? On the outer edges of our solar system, simple processes like collisions don't happen like we see in the asteroid belts between Mars and Jupiter. And this just shows how little we know about our solar system. And this is why NASA considers Arrowcourt a time capsule of the solar system, which can tell us a lot about the history of our solar system. Now, how and when does NASA open the pages of this history? Time will tell. For now, scientists have given quite interesting information about Pluto, whose nature was unknown until now. From the images of the New Horizons and in our history so far, the New Horizons have proved to be the first and last spacecraft to go near Pluto. So viewers, that's all for today's video. I hope you have enjoyed this video and I would love to hear your thoughts in the section below. Make sure to give thumbs up to this video and do not forget to subscribe Luminary Cosmos. So see you in another video. Till that, take care, love you, goodbye.